Hey YouTube DJs, this is DJ Vice, also DJ Mara. Hey, I'm covering my bases and I'm going to continue on the Hercules DJ Council RMX. And, uh, <clears throat> told you I would. Hey, well, I want to show you something. Uh, it says join the Hercules DJ community, uh, community and it's got www.herculesdjmixroom.com. So if you want um, to go and network forums and you have news and blogs, also information that could be helpful on the RMX. So if I can't answer those questions, you can go there. Also, you can go to the virtual DJ forum if you want. So that's really up to you. Hey, we're going to be using today the RMX console once again. Pull all those down. And we're going to just load it up here and uh, just click on uh, virtual DJ. And I m made a mistake in my last video. <laughs> By the time this video is out, it'll probably be 6.08. I did say that. Well, this is actually 6.0.7 virtual DJ and the way you find out is you go to your configuration box up here and you go to info and also I want to make sure that this is acknowledging see where it says RMX console we just loaded up so make sure you apply it if it says it and it shows it make sure you apply it sometimes you'll get these three well whatever you're using it may not acknowledge it it'll say this or it'll say ASIO so we want to apply the DJ console so we apply it hit OK and it should work okay <clears throat> so that was uh, one of the things it is that's how you find out what what you have also the skin I have is uh, pretty cool I like it because you have your mixer and then you have you can go to your video mixer feature I will say that um, you know basically uh, virtual DJ is really really uh, cost-saving when it comes to mixing video it really is I mean you can go out and buy a, a really fancy schmancy uh, video controller with the video mixer and you'll be spending a lot of money but on this all you need to do is have the software and basically a little unit like the RMX and you can mix mash video and actually record it and it's pretty cool because you can record your own mixes and right uh, here it says record if you notice it says record you can this is for audio and also record video so you can record uh, your your mixes in video or uh, audio. It's whatever you want. Uh, and of course, you have your effects, uh, your sampler, a lot of samples. You can create your own samples. And there's your browser again. Uh, what I'm going to address real quickly. Uh, somebody said, "How do you tag? You know, if you have something blank and it's wrong, and it's in other words, how do you tag it?" So um, I'm going to see how it, some of these have covers and some don't. So I purposely found some that didn't have covers, and I'm going to show you how that is done. Okay, so right here, um, this is an old song that's called Shesha La Fama. I'm not sure if anyone is familiar with that. But what you're going to do is I'm going to right-click it, and uh, you have to be hooked up to the internet for this to work. And I go to File Info. It will give you some other things there, too. But go to File Infos. Infos, excuse me. And there you'll see it says, uh, it'll give you all the information, it says Shesha La Femme, uh, and it's, if you want to make sure that the spelling is correct and capitalization, there's a feature here, it's a little arrow key, you hit it, and in this case it was all, it was all correct. Now I don't have a cover, uh, it says swing is a gender, I don't know the year uh, or the album, but I will if I want to put that down as far as my tag is concerned, but I really don't think that's important. But I, I do feel that I need a cover for it, so I'm going to go to cover. And what it's doing, it's automatically searching for the right cover. In this case, here is the right cover. That is a, Actually, this was the, this was the cover uh, for Dr. Buzzard. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to click on the small file, uh, excuse me, small cover. That way it takes up less space, because all I need it for is looks and I hit OK. Make sure you hit OK though once you're finished. OK. And it was that simple. Now somebody asked me how do you uh, create a playlist? It's very very simple. OK. What you're going to do is you're going to um, drop and drag or drag and drop. So I'm going to drag this one to my right. See and go into my right. And on this side it says playlist on Virtual DJ. So it'll open it up and I'm just going to drop it. You'll see it drop. There it is. So let's go and get some more music. And we're going to drag and drop it. See, I'm going to do it and drop it. Oops, I'm sorry. Didn't drag it. It'll do that once in a while. So you got to make sure you 
drag it and drop it wherever you want. You can actually put it up in front, in front of this one and it'll be on the top. And let's drag another one. Drag it. And you can put it in the middle if you want. So you're going to put it right there in the middle. So it's kind of in the middle. Or if, if I want to change it, just bring it and drag it down here. So now it's the bottom, that's the top, and that's in the middle. Now once I save my playlist, or once I want to save my playlist, I hit this little plus uh, icon here. And it'll say a bunch of stuff, but what I want to do is save it. All this stuff is if you want to, uh, you can check it out yourself. I'll cover that later. Uh, but it does auto mix if you want it, auto, auto mix. But right here is, I'm going to save it. I saved another file and I call it ZZZ, ZZZ file uh, earlier. But I'm going to call this one the X file. Ha, <laughs> get it? X file. So I'm going to put uh, four X's. Yeah, the X file. Anyway, so I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to go on Virtual DJ, your folders, everything is on your um, left hand side. And see where it says playlists right there? Well, I don't want that one because there's another playlist on top, if you notice. So I want to go to the top playlist where it says playlists on top. And I've already put a playlist for ZZZ and XXS just to give you an example. So if I click on that uh, ZZZ, we made XXX, right? So watch. I'm going to hit uh, XXX playlist. And there's your playlist. See how it works? And you can uh, autoplay that if you want. Now I had another file here which called ZZZ. Earlier I did that one and there's ZZZ. That's the playlist for ZZZ. There was only two songs I put on the playlist. It's just to give you an example of what I did. Anyway, um, that was basically it. So um, I just wanted to cover that. It's really, really simple to use Virtual DJ. It's, it's, it, I'm learning a lot. There's a lot to learn. Um, I want to say kudos to producer Matt because his videos have shown me a lot as well. So if you have a chance, go to producer Matt on YouTube as well. But um, that's basically it. I'm going to load a song. So let's uh, load this song. And I showed you before how to load it in my earlier videos, but um, you highlight it. And down below in the RMX, you load it. And it loads onto my deck A. That's the one I chose. And then I'm going to play the song. So just hit play. Play. And uh, basically we'll go from there. See how it works. Yeah. There you go. Anyway, uh, YouTube uh, DJs out there and everybody, thank you for supporting my channel. Once again, I want to say good, good, God bless. Hopefully I answered some of your questions. My next uh, video will cover uh, the sound cards and the conflicts on Virtual DJ that some of the DJs are having. Anyway, uh, once again, good, good, God bless. And as Brian S. Red would say, practice and enjoy.